some, uh, that would be very fun. And then I, I, I've, I, just to finish my NFL collection, um, I have a Detroit Lions helmet signed by Jim Harbaugh Saw and that. a Michigan. I didn't go to college. So, but I, but Jim Harbaugh was a close family friend of ours. And so Jim Harbaugh has sent me a, an autographed Michigan helmet and an autographed Detroit Lions helmet because that was the last time he, last, that was the last team he played with the NFL, in the NFL. And I was at one of his last games to watch him play. See, I didn't realize I, that that's on me for not even realizing my NFL history because I didn't, I was kind of like, when he gave you a Lions helmet that like yeah. he didn't even play for them. But he did. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah, that was that. his last uh, last NFL team. Yeah, we got. I remember I still was a little infant. I was at one of his last games. Yeah, because Jim Harbaugh, for for those who don't know, was involved with Panther Racing, the IndyCar team uh, that mm -hmm. my stepdad was involved with back in many many years ago. Um, and Jim's a big race fan. Still to this day, one of the greatest text messages I've ever received is from Jim Harbaugh the morning of my very very first Indy 500. It was just the most incredible coach speak that i've ever had and i still have it in my phone to this day should i read it for, please I read yeah it i was gonna say can we so give us the the background here your first any 500 was 2013 yes tony canon brought it home yes he did and i have a great picture that tony canon did autograph oh yeah yeah this is this is it Man, I mean, so so the morning of the five. So you said the morning of the five hundred. This this text comes through. Yeah, from old Jim Hart. Now, do you have his contact, or is it a random number that says, "Hey, this is Jim"? Nope. Uh, we, I had got his number from my stepdad, and I said, "Hey," because uh, he had texted my stepdad. I guess is saying, "Hey, congrats, Connor made the field." You know what I mean? We made the race, and he says this. Uh, for a first message, he said, Connor, thanks for texting. What time? Hold on. What time is this sent? On this the is uh, 12.35 p.m. on May 20th, 2013. Okay. Which I never delete anything from my phone. Yeah. He said, Connor, thanks for texting. Can't tell you how thrilled I am for you. Congrats on your success. I can't wait to watch you compete on Sunday. Great things are going to happen for you. Your friend, Jim Harbaugh. I said, thanks, man. It will be great to catch up with you. It'll be such a cool weekend. He says, this is, this is where it gets real. This is where it gets real intense. Yes, indeed. Who could possibly have it better than you? Nobody. Attack with enthusiasm unknown to mankind while making cool-headed decisions. You're ready. You're trained. You have the courage and have prepared. Great things will happen. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I mean, I'm ready to jump through the wall. man. Let's That's go, Jim. Sick, dude, that is sick. <laughs> Can I mean, I, that's that's can electric. I, I want to see the screen. Can I see, show you the screenshot? Wow. <laughs> this is big time. Nova. Dude, I mean, dude. I felt I, I have never been more ready for a race in my life. And I was like, I'm never going to delete this message. Have prepared. Great things will happen. That. <laughs> Wow. Now he did spell your wrong every did, time, yeah. but that's that doesn't matter. He was using the possessive form of yeah. your instead of the <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Yeah, but we'll overlook that. He's he don't got time for grammar. He's a coach. Yeah, he's trying to fire you up. Exactly. And I tell you what, I, that was that was great text receipt. You need to like life. you need to you need to blow that up a little bit. Print it off. You know, like an eight by ten or something. Yeah, hang it on my that, wall. Hang it there. Yeah, you know, right next to you. Stare at, maybe in your bathroom. Like, well, you know, at gyms they have like at the gym that I go to. Sometimes they got quotes from like uh, George Washington on the wall and like very famous coaches. You know, and, and, and like very just strong leaders. Mm -hmm. This would be one of those quotes that I would put on my wall. Yep, that's I I love that. That's like uh, he gave you the Harbaugh mantra. The Harbaugh's yeah. that's their big. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. Like that's yeah. A, yeah, nobody had better than you, man. No, you I mean I made I'm, the field. Yeah, we made it. the field. <laughs> we were in the race. I mean, it didn't go great. We were on fire most of it, but it was. <laughs> it, I was inspired. I was still inspired. Let me absolutely. tell you something. Yeah, I mean, we're big football guys here. <laughs> absolutely, we're big yeah. football guys for here. sure. That's uh, yeah. So wow, Jim Harbaugh, uh, close friend of the of, of the pod. Close, the yeah, Jim Harbaugh, close friend of the podcast, obviously. I would be um, afraid to interview him, though. Honestly, he's a he, dude. He's a, a gentle soul. He's an interesting bird, you know. A gentle soul, and I haven't talked to him in a long time. And I would love to love to reconnect. I feel like he would be like very cool and nice to you, and then anytime I ask him something, he'd be like, <laughs> "What? What?" You know, he'd just be a, kind of a kind of a dick. We're at practice. Yeah, <laughs> like he wouldn't know. You know, he. Yeah, I saw a tweet one time. Somebody was like, "Jim Harbaugh always looks like he's thinking about whether or not he turned the oven off at home." <laughs> 